welcome back to my channel. This is Balancing Life with Brie. If you're new here, my name is Brie and I do weight loss content. I do other fun videos. I vlog my life. I show you my dogs. I show you my boyfriend, you know, just living my best life. I also do like clothing hauls and stuff like that. So if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe down below. Come hang out with me. But you guys obviously clicked on this video to get some meal ideas. So what this video is, this is called a scheduled Sunday video. And basically I just give you the recipes that I'm going to be eating for the week. Just, you know, I give you all the ingredients, the whole rundown. So all you have to do is turn this video on, get ready, start writing down some ingredients. And then your week is set, your grocery list is set. And you don't have to worry about it because that's one of like the biggest things. It's always like, oh my gosh, what am I going to eat this week? You don't even have to worry about it because I got you covered. But First things first, I did want to say thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Also, shout out to my dogs in the background. Always making a mess. Anyway, so if you guys have been around for a while, I have been using Factor meals for almost about a year now. And sometimes I buy them for myself. Sometimes they send them to me. This time they did send me some meals and it is perfect timing because I'm going to be going to Gatlinburg for my best friend Stephanie's birthday over this weekend. So I will have three full recipes for you guys and then days that I'm going like right before I leave, I don't want to make a bunch of food. So I'm going to eat my factor meals. So if you guys haven't heard of factor before, basically it's like a food company that sends you meals already pre-made done. They have keto options. They have calorie smart options. I love their food because they send me my meals and they send me their smoothies so this time i got a strawberry banana smoothie and a tropical fruit smoothie i got four of each i think and i love these i think they're seriously so good the strawberry banana is better in my opinion than this one but this one's still good as well but anyway i was going to show you guys some of the meals that they got me because i'm very excited to eat them so i got this one and this is called casio e pepe probably butchered that but it's 430 calories and it's with roasted broccoli this is what they look like literally all you have to do is pop these in the microwave and you have a meal and it's already done i do have a link in my description box to give you guys some money off if you are interested they're running a really good sale for the month of march but basically all the meals like i said they're already done here for you and they're absolutely delicious I love having them in the fridge, especially in those times where I'm not really feeling like making my normal wontons, you know what I'm saying? And I just want an actual meal. And they also sent me this one too. Woo, look at how good that looks. Are you kidding me? This is spicy turkey poblano bowl with roasted broccoli rice and scallion sour cream. So this is like a keto one because it has eight nut carbs in it, but the calories are really good on all of them. They're all under 600 calories, at least the ones that I personally get. I try to stick to the calorie smart ones, but it's really, really good, especially if you're on the go, you don't feel like meal prepping. They send you the meal. All you have to do is put it in the microwave and it's fresh ingredients and I love them. So that is one thing I'm gonna be eating this week. Now let's get into the rest of the recipes that I'm going to be having this week. As you guys know, I coach volleyball and on the nights that I am there, like really, really late, I like to make crock pot meals. So a lot of my scheduled Sundays have been incorporating crock pot meals recently, really dump and go type recipes. This one is new, depending on which plan you're on. If you're on Weight Watchers, it should be rather low point because there's not a lot of like high calorie point things in here except the honey. So I'm going to be making hot honey chicken in the crock pot. So very, very, very minimal ingredient. First thing you're going to need is some chicken, a thinly sliced boneless chicken breast because it's like the cheapest option when I do the click list. So I got some of these and then you're going to need some garlic, some light soy sauce, and I'll have the recipe linked in the description box, but the original recipe calls for like honey and then like a hot, you're supposed to make like a hot chili sauce. I just picked up some of this hot honey that's already infused with chilies. So I'm going to be trying this. I'm really excited because I've heard a lot of good things about like hot honey. So that's literally it. So you just put the chicken in, you put your light soy sauce, your garlic, your honey, let that cook in the crock pot. You can do like high for four to six hours or low for six to eight, something like that. You guys will see if you decide to make this recipe. And then I'm going to put it over some rice. So I take the easy way out. I don't have a rice cooker or anything like that. So I just use this boil in a bag rice. You literally just put it in a bowl of water, stick it in the microwave, and it's done in 10 minutes. I think it's super easy. So pretty much the calories and the points will come from your rice. 
This one, for example, a half a cup is 210 calories, and then the honey will be your other points. But I'm really excited to make this because it seems super easy and it sounds really, really good. So I'm probably gonna make this on Monday, maybe Sunday. I'll keep you guys up, like, up to date on how it tastes and everything like that on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll put it down here for you guys. But yeah, I will let you know how this one tastes, but I'm very, very excited for it. And let's get to the next recipe. Okay, so my next recipe, I will probably make this on Tuesday, is a pineapple chicken. And I love pineapple chicken. I haven't made it in such a long time, so I'm really, really hype about it. If you guys have been making any of the recipes that I've been making, kind of like following along with my scheduled Sundays, You'll probably already have a lot of this in your pantry or in your fridge, whatever. So I want to say it's like minimal ingredient, but there are some random things in it that you might not have if you're new to my channel or you just like don't eat everything that I eat on my schedule Sundays. Okay, so what you're going to need for this is chicken. The Basically, the way that I make this is I will cut up my chicken into like little chicken pieces so I can cook it easier. You can do it however you want. I just think it's easier to just like cut them into little pieces. You're going to need some pineapple chunks. I went ahead and bought the pineapple chunks that are in the pineapple juice because the recipe calls for pineapple juice and it calls for pineapple chunks. So I'm just going to use the juice from this and then I'm gonna use the chunks later on as well. So a can of pineapple chunks. You're going to need a red bell pepper. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the one that are, that are like already pre-cut, which I was kind of sad about. So you're gonna need one red bell pepper. You're gonna need some cornstarch. This is basically just to thicken up that pineapple sauce. Some jalapenos, if you want a little bit of kick, I like to chop these up and throw them on top and mix it in with like the pineapple mix as well. Some hoisin sauce, I literally love this stuff. It's so good. Some light soy sauce brown sugar to give it a little sweetness garlic and salt and pepper so that's pretty much it for this recipe it's another one that's really really easy because once you cook up the chicken basically you're just making the sauce and then you just mix it all together and then i'm also going to be putting this over white rice as well so point wise weight watcher wise your most of your points are most likely going to come from the pineapple and then you might get a couple points for this and then your rice. You can use brown rice, you can use white rice. I like to eat white rice. It has the same exact calories and points. So it's just kind of like, I prefer white over the brown rice, but that's just my own personal preference. But yeah, so I'm gonna be having this on Tuesday and yet again, I will keep you guys updated on my Instagram, how I feel about it. I will have the recipe linked in my description as well, but I am very, very excited to eat this because it is a 10 out of 10, would recommend. I love pineapple chicken. So being able to make it at home with fresher ingredients, I just love that idea. So I'm gonna be making this and I have one more recipe for you guys and then kind of like a little snacky idea for the week. And yeah, that'll be it. All right, so for the last official recipe, I have been craving pork chops for some reason. Don't ask me why, I don't know. But I'm gonna be making some like apple cinnamon pork chops. And it was funny because I was telling Scott, I was like, hey, don't eat these apples because they're for the pork chops. He's like, apples and pork chops. But yeah, so we're gonna be trying it. He actually just laughed in the background, you can hear it. So what you're gonna need for this recipe, obviously pork chops. So I just got these from Kroger. They were only $7.52, so I was like, heck yeah. So they're just like little pork tenderloins. You're gonna put them in your crock pot. This is a crock pot meal. So throw these babies in your crock pot. You're gonna need two Granny Smith apples. Got them all ready. You're gonna need two Fuji apples, I think. They're the red ones, I don't know. The recipe's in the description box. But two red apples, I really don't think it matters each their own it's just apples and then you're gonna need a sweet onion if you guys know me you know I like swear by my chopped onion that's frozen the little baggies from Kroger but it's not sweet so I did want to like follow the recipe completely get my sweet onion and then you're gonna need some cinnamon so I just have some ground cinnamon you need some honey pink salt and a little bit of butter, and I get the cheapo butter, it's blue bonnet, it's probably not even real butter, but it's fine. So basically, you just cut up your apples, cut up your onion, throw that in the crock pot with your pork chops, 
a little bit of honey, a little bit of salt. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And I cannot wait to eat them. Like I said, I haven't had pork chops in such a long time. And I was just like, hmm, that sounds really good. And yet again, if you're trying to watch your calories, weight watcher point wise, should relatively be low. Your pork chops are gonna be the bulk of your points with a little bit of honey. There's not a lot of butter in the recipe. So, I mean, it's gonna, probably gonna add a point, point or two, but you're gonna have four servings. So I would say about one pork chop per serving. I did buy a Caesar salad kit that I'm probably gonna have on the side with this one just to get a little bit of extra veggies in. I did buy some green beans for this week as well. So those are the veggies. I'm not like the biggest veggie person. I cook with my vegetables, but I don't just like sit there and eat them. I could eat bell peppers like that, but I'm always cooking with onion. I'm always cooking with bell peppers. I'm always, always cooking with tomatoes. So, you know, whatever. That's just the way I get my veggies in. It works. It's worked for me. I lost 75 pounds. We're moving and grooving. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys one snack idea that I had for this week to kind of get that high protein in. And then we're gonna conclude this video. So I will be right back with that. So if you guys have been around for a while, you'd know that I'm going to the gym, trying to gain more muscle, not really focusing on my weight as much as like pictures, like looking at pictures of myself and then doing measurements and stuff like that. And I've been trying to get in a lot more protein because I'm going to the gym, trying to build that muscle. So I decided to make these little, I saw it on TikTok, little like protein packs that you just kind of make yourself. I do know that you can buy like Sargento makes ones like these. And then I, th I wanna say like Hillshire, I don't know, but they make these protein packs, but they're so expensive. So I was like, I'm gonna DIY and I'm just gonna do it myself and it is what it is. So as you guys know, I love these for snacks just in general, but I'm gonna take one of these 100 calorie packets of almonds, put it in a little container, so protein wise for this, it's only four grams, but almonds are a good healthy fat. So I'm gonna throw some nuts in there. I also have a thing of mixed nuts in there that Scott likes to eat. I might do those, they're a little salty. I don't really know them. And then some Colby Jack cheese cubes. I went ahead and just bought the ones that are already cubed. You can buy the blocks and cut them up, but whatever. So there's six grams of protein in these for six pieces, 110 calories. And then I also bought some of these. They're the Kroger brand version of like Slim Jims and there's seven grams of protein in these. So adding that all together, that's a good little, almost 20 grams of protein, just like a little snack. So that's kind of like my plan for like little snacks throughout the week. I am gonna go to Costco probably tomorrow and pick up some bars. I do wanna get my Sam's Club membership back because I feel like Sam's has better snacks than Costco. And Costco has been out of Premier Proteins, which is really sad because that's where I get my Premier Proteins. They only have the chocolate and like a mocha flavor and uh, I'm not into that. I don't think it tastes good in profi. Anyway, so those are the meals that I'm going to be eating this week. That's just like another little snack option for you guys as well. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And as always, I want you to remember that every day is a new day to pop up and drop those pounds. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.